Here we go. Officially the top two teams in world football. We can say that now, but only one will wear the crown. It's the World Cup final coming up live on EA TV. Please report to you. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. To be world champions, let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Casemiro plays alongside Lucas Paqueta in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Neymar. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris between the posts. Fresnel Kimpembe plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Paul Pogba in central midfield. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts with Karim Benzema. And so the battle commences. Alexandro well you might say history speaks for Brazil on seven occasions they've made it to the final before they've recorded five victories they're always going to fancy their chances how do you view their prospects in this one Stuart well right at the start of the tournament I asked the question are they a great side or just a good side if they win here today, I think we can call them a great side. They've been excellent all the way through the tournament. This should be a cracking game. And it's there for Karim Benzema. There's still danger here. He's given it straight to the opposition. And he takes it on and blocked for now. Well, Neymar really is one of the greats in the world game. Stuart, interested in your opinion as far as this match is concerned. What should we expect to see from him? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this oh, defence. Oh, big chance here! Well, it's ended up being, quite frankly, easy for the keeper. Well, he should be hitting the back of the net. That's a poor effort. Bad pass. Benzema. Griezmann. Very quick thinking there. And Neymar. Neymar! Well, he was on his own. He had the goalkeeper to beat, but failed to do so. Well, he just needed to show a bit more composure there. Take a little bit off the shot, I think. Well, he's given it away. Oh, great attacking play. And just wide of the post. Decent effort there.
Casemiro. And fine goalkeeping. The delivery from Neymar. Still not clear. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. And held with ease by Loris. Not high quality defending. The supporters want to see him have a go. Oh, there's the goal! There's the opener! How about that? Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. So back underway. Will there be a response from France here? This could screw the game. Oh, but a chance. Well, I think that's a poor miss. They really should be level now. Will they come to regret that? Well, Brazil, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession. But that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. And the goal disallowed. You can see why. Offside, Stuart. Yeah, and I think he knew as well. Immediately looked over his shoulder to check for the linesman. Fred. And take it away. Well, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. And the last touch off the defender, so a corner coming up. Let's see about the delivery. And the problem not completely solved. Well, sometimes they come off for you, sometimes they don't, Stuart. Well, he didn't get the technique right there, and as a result, he mistimes the contact on the ball. Coman, Benzema, Coman, oh that's a really good run, oh wonderful goalkeeping, well you have to say from that sort of distance that's a wonderful save. And how about the short corner? It comes to nothing in the end. Went in strongly, decisively. Griezmann. Teo Hernandez. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. The outcome is a goal kick here. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Very much run of the mill as saves go. Coman. Can he apply the finish? Oh, that is a superb save.
Who can they pick out? Well, it has come to nothing. And so it is, the first half story has been written. So into the second half, can France bounce back after that first 45? Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Defenders need to cover. And a goal kick given. Coleman. Conte now. Possession lost by France. And Brazil in a position of menace. It's Neymar! And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Casemiro. But well, he could run onto it here. Oh, a great chance it was. Goalkeeper has it. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Pogba might want this, and a goal, it was served up on a silver platter for him. Well, let's take another look. Yeah, he won't get an easier finish than that. The defending was all over the place, though. So the ball is moving once more, and I'll tell you what, France are right back in this contest now. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Kylian Mbappe and Golo Conte Pogba now with Benzema intercepting it intelligently an awful lot of green space to run into and a disappointing end to the move Pogba Benzema. Well, they have the ball once more. Into the final 20 minutes. N'Golo Conte. Yes, man. France looking dangerous here. And he's beaten him here. Well, nothing for the players in the middle to work with. And that is going to be a free kick. Make the personnel change. 
Now delivering that deep cross. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Error by the keeper. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. But I think we can call him one mighty relieved goalkeeper. Well, he can smile now, but that was a big blunder. And the ruling is offside here. Griezmann. And he stopped them in their tracks. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. And a fine stop. Playing it in. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Well, no problems defensively. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Vinicius Jr. Oh, what an opportunity. A goal! And that is going to be that. Name on the trophy for certain. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Underway again with the score at 3-1. Ben Yedder showing a real will to win the ball. Ben Yedder. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Vinicius Junior. Neymar. Ball with Danilo. Neymar. Tremendous block. Fired in by Neymar. Thumped clear. And the referee brings this final to an end. For the first time in 20 years, Brazil are world champions once more. Well, no surprise there, Derek. Brazil have been brilliant and they fully deserve this trophy. Brazil, the world champions. And this triumph, you just feel, Stuart, is going to be fondly remembered by all Brazilians. You're absolutely right. They've played some...